A petrol head word is quite self-explanatory, but car heads aren't all petrol heads only. There is a certain group of people which prefer a low-end torque, for which a diesel is better. Often modding a diesel is much easier, due to an already installed turbocharger and a tougher structure. Without further ado, these belong on the best tunable diesel engines list. Cummins 6BT While the 6BT was first meant for agriculture use, Dodge teamed up with Cummins to make it fit into Ram models sold since 1989. The 12-valve features a fully mechanical fuel system, a wholesale turbo, and being an all-iron closed-deck engine, it is very durable. If maintained properly, it can go beyond 500,000 miles, or with some mods, it will serve up to 800 horsepower on the stock bottom end. Toyota KD series. It is known that Japanese don't make such good diesels, but that ain't the full truth. Toyota truly knows how to make a great diesel, which is why the KD series left something to remember. Although it is slowly getting swapped for a new series, the KD can surprise you with power figures it is capable of. Some node numbers around 500 horsepower on the stock internal. Volkswagen 1.9 TDI The 1.9 TDI PD is a legend in the diesel world, using an iron block, a single overhead cam aluminum head with bucket tappets and a single turbo, either by Garrett, Triple K or variable geometry one by Borg Warner. You can chip tune it to receive some significant numbers or change a thing or two to go beyond 200 horsepower. <laughs> BMW M51 All M51s already had turbos, unlike the M21, but there was still a TD version without an intercooler. That is an essential part for more power, and alongside other modes, it could go somewhere about 200 horsepower. Beware of badly maintained engines, they are pretty sensitive if not warm rather regularly, or the oil level is being too low. <laughs> Ford 7.3 IDI The IDI stands for indirect injection and was the predecessor to the modern power stroke powerhouses. The IDI was a pro mechanics and only in 1993 and 1994 it was available with a turbo by Garrett. That turbo didn't bring a lot of power, but here is torque always more important. Be sure that you can throw anything power rise on it and it will take it.
Mercedes OM606, the best for the end, the OM606. This engine is a jazzy of the diesel world, and even the non-turbo version is good bottom end wise for 300 horsepower each build. For more power seek, it is better to look for the stock turbo model, which also has an intercooler. Just be sure to adjust the fuel system and throw a bigger turbo on it.